battling you, bro. Let's do this. Uh, we have the other war, obviously. 1955, 1975. Uh, first off, let us start off by saying that it wasn't actually a Vietnam War, it was a Vietnam conflict. The U.S. Congress never really, de really declared that it was an official war. And we'll talk about it later. It's an abuse of uh, uh, presidential powers. Um, the origins of the war, the prehistory, is that the French. Um, I'll draw a map for you. Can you get me that? Oh. The French were. So this is Vietnam. Kind of like right, right there. It's pretty bad. The North Vietnam was affected by communism. The French war. The, it was the, the South Vietnam was. A French colony until until like 1955. 1955. All of Vietnam. All of Vietnam, sorry, was French colony until 1954, when the French lost uh, the battle to uh, North Vietnam because they were just outnumbered, and the French left. Uh, the French left the. We're leaving. Actually, we're leaving the. We're leaving Vietnam. While U.S. was aiding them with troops, supposedly. We'll, uh, we'll also talk about it later. Uh, first training for U.S. was in 1956. U.S. was started started uh, to send troops, but they were really FBI, CIA agents, and they were just exploring the area, and they had plans uh, on how to capture Viet uh, South Vietnam, and they knew there was a threat of communism. And people who went to war were drafted, and they were mostly 19 to 20 years old, and they, they had to go, but they weren't against it. They were actually eager to do it, and they were stupid enough to say, "I want to serve for my country, and I want." I, I know, I know. They didn't. They didn't really have any. any <laughs> no, I'm saying they didn't really have any opinion of what war actually is. Okay. Right. So the origins of the war um, after the, the French were leaving and the U.S. Um, um, the U.S. was supplying um, uh, advisors to the French army, and they were pretty much um, like war, like war generals, and they were helping them out and giving them like ideas and helping them try and get um, going Vietnam back. But um, after the French were leaving, um, the U.S. got involved in the war by. Uh, the threat of communism. Uh, they were afraid that um, China, which was um, under a dictatorship at the time, was going to uh, spread communism throughout North Vietnam. And because North Vietnam was right under China. Um, sure. And this is a map of the region. So you see China's and then North Vietnam and South Vietnam. Uh, U.S. was also afraid of uh, communism spreading throughout this entire region in the Laos and Thailand and Cambodia, and we'll talk about Cambodia more later. Um. Some of the major figures. First of all, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, LBJ, not LeBron James. Um, 1963 to 1969, he served after uh, JFK's assassination. And he actually didn't run for the second time because of inability to pull out the troops out of uh, North Vietnam. Though in 1965, he sent he, he, he sent the first troops to South Vietnam, uh, and it was it was, it was it was kind of the official action of the war. And the next figure is Luton Allen. Um, it was, he was the son of the of the uh, famous General Allen and was a commander of 1967 operation against Viet Cong. It was he was a major major figure. And he uh, uh, we'll talk in a minute. Um, President Nixon, a man that did good did bad. He was uh, in 1968. He got president the presidency. He tried to disengage U.S. troops. He also changed drafting of young men to lottery, so you didn't have to go, people chose to go. But then in 1972, 
he provided uh, North Vietnam with a secret bombing uh, called the Christmas bombing when B-52s bombed uh, uh, what's the Hanoi, Hanoi, yeah, Hanoi, um, because of peace impasse, the, which wasn't which wasn't really confirmed. And 1963, he signed a cease cease ceasefire act in uh, France, saying both sides stopping they're they're stopping they're stopping firing each other, and the war was kind of on the end already. General Westmoreland, a huge a huge consumer of uh, U.S. troops, in uh, 1968 after U.S lost a great amount of uh, young men fighting for their country. He ordered 200,000 more troops, and he didn't have any reason for it. He just said, we have to defeat them. And, um, let's go on. Um, so, Ho Chi Minh was the uh, uh, leader of the uh, um, northern Vietnam. He was, uh, as he was he was trained in the Soviet Union by um, communist uh, people, I guess. Um, Ho Chi Minh was uh, supported in the north by um, by China and in yeah. And Mao Zedong was the leader of um, southern Vietnam. He was uh, no, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Um, he was leader of China at the time. He was supporting, um, what? No. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> he was the leader of, um, China at the time. He was communist and he was aiding in Vietnam in the war. And some major events throughout the war, uh, we're going to start with the Christmas bombings, or the bombings that, um, yeah. So the Dow Chemical Company, in uh, roughly 1965, started to producing napalm, and uh, started aiding U.S. Uh, in bombings of North Vietnam, and... Besides the besides these two big ones, the Christmas bombing bombings by Nixon, there were uh, B-52s bombed North Vietnam in 1966, or as I said already, in 1972, B-52 bombed Hanoi. So the U.S. wasn't really shy about uh, using their artillery, and we're going to show a video of what how the people reacted to that. The United States was never invited into uh, Vietnam. The United States conceived a power play in 1954 after the French uh, were defeated. And the United States, without invitation, found GM in the United States and uh, moved him to uh, South Vietnam and installed him as a puppet without ever consulting the people in any way. They know they must move on or be destroyed by our bombs. So they go, primarily women and children and the aged. They watch as we poison their water. As we kill a million acres of their crops, they must weep as the bulldozers roll through their areas preparing to destroy the precious trees. They wander into the hospitals with at least 20 casualties from American firepower for one Viet Cong inflicted injury. So far we may have killed a million of them, <coughs> mostly children. They wander into the towns and see thousands of the children, homeless, without clothes, running in packs on the streets like animals. They see the children degraded by our soldiers as they beg for food. They see the children selling their sisters to our soldiers, soliciting for their mothers. All right, well, that was uh, MLK speaking uh, against North, uh, war in Vietnam. And we got it. So, next is the protest to the war in Vietnam. Um, it was 
very controversial topic, and um, some of the first large-scale protests were at Wisconsin University. Um, and uh, um, well, in Wisconsin, there was um, there were sto- there was stories. Um, the news reported it was 50 police officers that uh, came to Wisconsin to um, try and tame protests and tame rallies, but. Uh, and they said they fought against 300 plus students that were led um, by pros from uh, out of the city. They never really said what type of pros, but um, what actually happened, there was probably close to 200 police officers and um, a couple hundred students, and it was the numbers were pretty equal, but the police, um, they had batons, and they were brutally beating the students for openly protesting the war. Um, and the students were actually expelled from, from Wisconsin, like a lot of students were expelled from Wisconsin for like not representing their school in the right way, which was like just madness. It was out of place. Um, and, um, and students were um, fighting against the police officers, trying to like hit them back with what they could, but they ultimately were out-muscled by the police officers and students were being taken to the hospital with um, beat, heads beaten in. And they were just brutally massacred, pretty much, for um, protesting. Um, and here's a picture um, of, the, of a protest. Um, and then this is uh, another one. You can explain this one more. Yeah, this is uh, what... And okay, I was talking about the, about the Say Saigon puppet. Uh, the Saigon is actually in North Vietnam. I'm sorry, South Vietnam. And uh, basically, what this image says is that U.S. just came on their land. They're using their resources. They're using their land to have their own like bases and uh, like army camps. And the Sa- Saigon can't do anything against such a big country. And um, basically, yeah, U.S. Most, uh, an imperial an imp- and uh, imperialism, uh, U.S. find found a place to place their imperialism, imperialism on. Okay. All right. Um, this is a, a picture at, um, in Washington. Uh, just shows the large scale of the protests. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of people just against the war protesting. Um, should we show this? Do we have time? I think we should continue next time. Right. Right at this video. Okay. Thank you, guys.